Everlane is one of the first sustainable brands I purchased after giving up fast fashion. The reason why I love them is because of their affordability um, compared to other sustainable fashion brands. And at the same time, I love their basics. Their basics are the best kind of basics a girl could ask for. Hence why I, just, I basically spend almost $300 on Everlane alone. Hey guys, my name is Lisa Fariha. Welcome to my Conscious Consumer series where we aim to be more aware and responsible of our purchase. Don't forget to like this video because it would really help me and subscribe and hit the notification bell on this channel so you won't miss out. Now. Let's get on with this video. Here are the timestamps for this video. In the beginning, I will be talking about my research and the background of the brand. The middle section would be a try-on haul, and the third one would be like a verdict and a review if I would still continue purchasing this brand, what I really think after doing my research. So for this specific um, video, I won't be doing a full-on try-on haul. Most of the things that I bought from Everlane is half of it was for my boyfriend, another half is for winter. I don't have my winter um, clothes with me, it's back in the US, so I'll probably insert some pictures. So here is the background of Everlane. Everlane is a clothing retail company that values exceptional quality, ethical factories, and radical transparency. I like to think that more people are aware of the ethical horrific problems um, in sweatshops and fast fashion. So it's important to have a factory that's ethical that treats the garment workers right. So once I found out about Everlane, about how they treat their workers really good, how they're very transparent on which factories they produce their certain products, um, it made me feel a bit better. However, what I do learn after you know reading up a lot about sustainability and whatnot, just because a brand is ethical, it doesn't mean they're sustainable. And Everlane is not a sustainable fashion clothing brand, it's more towards ethical and transparency. What is radical transparency and how is it or why is it important? First and foremost, just because a company is transparent, it doesn't mean that it's sustainable. And also, ethical and ethical and sustainable goes hand in hand, but in this instance, from what I know and what I research on this date, Everlane is not sustainable, it's more into the ethical side, which is good. Okay, so what's the importance of transparency? When a brand is transparent, they let consumers know which factories they use or they source their products from. Because of this, it would be easier for consumers to hold the brand accountable instead of them not telling us um, what they're doing behind the scenes. The awareness of transparency started when the Rana Plaza factory collapsed in April 2013. A lot of lives, um, we've lost a lot of lives in Bangladesh and we do not want that to happen. We don't want that part of history to happen again. Ideally, a good, transparent, responsible clothing brand would put all of their information under their about section, like their values or what they believe in, their mission statement, all that good stuff. It shouldn't be something that they want to hide. So I feel like that's a good sign for me, at least as a consumer. What I like about them is that when they have a sale, they would give you options on how much money that you could pay. Let me see if they have an example right now. So for specific products, they have specific price and you can choose um, the lowest price or the middle price or the higher price. Um, to be fully honest with you guys, I always choose the cheaper price because your girl got a budget and got to save some money. But I really like that they have that option. Another tool that I would use to further investigate, I would say, about a brand is the Good On You app. You just type in the brand that you want to check out and they have the information right over there. So as you can see, Everlane is rated as not good enough. What I like about the Good On You app, it gives you a clear, straightforward rating. So as you can see on Everlane, um, for them, it's not good enough. And one of the reasons why is because how they manage water usage in their supply chain. 
if you scroll down the ratings, they have um, three sections, which is labor, environment, and animal. So this is very useful for consumers who have specific cause that they want to start or specific cause that they're passionate um, about. And also, if you read over here, they explain how they rate the brands. Another feature that I like on this app is the similar brand section where you can see um, they give you other options for you to check out. I want to acknowledge the press and the criticism they've received um, when the pandemic started. So here are the articles that basically called them out. The one from Vogue. Fast Company. And The Verge. I was kind of confused because I read this letter from the founder on Everlane's Instagram page. And with all of this happening, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. The information that I know now, anything can change in the next 24 hours after I post this, the next month, couple of months, next year. Um, I just want to let you guys know so you guys can be aware on what's going on during this pandemic and what I know now. All right, so let's look at the things that I bought from Everlane. This sweater makes me feel luxurious, minimal, and adult at the same time in the very best way. It is really thin, but because it's cashmere, it does a great job in keeping me warm and it's not tight. So it does a great job too during the festive season where we eat and drink a lot. To be completely honest with you guys, this is probably my least favorite purchase from Everlane. I was going to return it, but I lost the tag. But this t-shirt is comfortable. It just makes me feel like a waitress or a soup chef. So I'm not really into it. I thought I was going to love it, but it's alright. The quality though, still great. This is, I'm not even joking, my favorite sweater ever. I know it's white, I know it's simple, but I love it because it's comfy. It's more comfortable than a cashmere for sure, and I love how minimal and elegant it looks. So it's easy to put on different jeans and outfit. So I thought I bought more stuff for my boyfriend, but I only bought this one sweater for Christmas, but he loved it and it looks great. I'm sure you guys seen me in this shirt. I wear this almost every day. I love white tea. And yeah, after reading this, it's kind of like LOL, but hey, it's for a good cause. So these jeans are super cute. I wore them a couple of times. However, I might resell them or bleach them out because I'm kind of over the look. This is my favorite t-shirt ever. I love t-shirts and I love how it's made. This is great for summer. It is really thin and it's not as see-through. So I really appreciate that. Here is the verdict review part of the video. Let's talk about the quality of the product. The quality of the product is amazing. Both of us really enjoy it. We enjoy the fit. We enjoy the style. It's a really good place to look for your basics. Um, before the pandemic, uh, when I was shopping with them, I enjoyed the customer service. I like that their packaging is on a box. It's in a paper bag. So I really appreciate that. So all in all, I really like the quality of their products. I really enjoy wearing them. However, after reading these articles and after, you know, gathering more information and being more aware of sustainability, um, the, the environment, how we can improve, all this kind of stuff, I'm kind of taken back. It's kind of like a step back from Everlane. Um, like I said, this series is for us to be more of a conscious consumer. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys to buy stuff from them. I'm not gonna tell you guys not to buy stuff from them. I just want you guys to be more aware. So once I'm aware of the information um, and all the things that I've learned about sustainability and fashion, um, Everlane won't be my number one go-to brand anymore. Um, will I still buy stuff from them? Right now, maybe not. A is because we're 
currently in a pandemic, I have no reason to buy anything new. Um, B, I am kind of unemployed, so I have no reason to buy anything new as well, so yeah. And C, now I'm more aware of the other actually sustainable brands who are taking environmental impact seriously and circulation, all that good stuff. So I have other brands to try out. In case I missed any information or tidbits about Everlane, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video, it would really help me a lot. And please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. And I'll see you guys next week. Let's be a better human, guys, and take care.